Hello, it's Father Samuel Hakim with a word of hope for Tuesday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. Well, I'm home where I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico this week. I came in for this past weekend's Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, an event which really shows Albuquerque and New Mexico at its finest. Yes, the hot air balloons are spectacular as hundreds upon hundreds of them take to the skies. But the nature around us is as stunning as the event itself. The summer heat is over, and fall brings with it some of the finest of New Mexico. The chili crop, the green chili crop, has been harvested and is now being enjoyed by all of us. The leaves on top of the mountains behind me have begun to change. The scrub oak into a burnt orange and the aspens into a bright and shimmering gold. The cottonwood trees that line the Rio Grande River down in the valley have begun to change into their shining and shimmering gold as well. Yes, when I look out at the creation around me, it's easy to give thanks and praise to God, to see his fingerprints in what he has made. St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, encourages the Romans to do the exact same. We hear it in today's first reading. He says to them, For what can be known about God is evident to them, because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made. Yes, fall is a beautiful season almost everywhere throughout the United States. When we look at God's creation, what do we see? Do we see beauty and order and detail which raise the mind, the heart, and the soul to God? Or do we just see nature? Creation is one of the greatest gifts that raises the mind to God. It's one of the things that makes it possible to see and know God. Look up at creation today. Find the beauty in what God has made and give thanks to God for it. Find his power and his divinity there in creation. And let your mind, your heart, and your soul Reach out in thanksgiving and praise of the Creator. God bless you today, and enjoy the fall.